Hey, it's Mr. Yu. So for the past week, I actually did a sustainability challenge where I went fully vegan for one week. And this is actually a very difficult task for me because almost every single day, I eat some type of uh, meat protein. And I wanted to try to go vegan for one week. I actually never was vegetarian. So I think this will be a very difficult challenge. I end up uh, vlogging every day and I uh, end up collecting over 100 videos, but what I'm going to do is show some highlights of my week Which I was very pr proud of and really actually changed my lens uh, Thinking when it came to being more eco-friendly and adjusting my lifestyle Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. All right, take care So this is my uh, e-bike which I bought uh, in late August and I had been using it for about six or seven months now and this is my daily mode of transportation and it's just great to just ride around be connected with your surrounding but also enjoy my commute and it's crazy so this um this battery right here um it goes up to a hundred kilometers for one charge and I only charge it maybe once a week and it only costs about seven cents to charge so that's decreasing my carbon footprint, being mindful, but also doing some type of practical solution to actually change my lifestyle. So I have a big sweet tooth and actually I found these uh, jelly packs and usually most jelly substances are made with uh, bone marrow, gelatin. But the nice thing about these ones is that they're actually made of a plant derivative and there's going to be uh, xanthum, carob, and carrageenan gum instead. So I think this is gonna be a nice alternative. So right here I have some uh, sustainably harvest um, black lichen and I'm just kind of chopping up. So as I chop it into like these like fine uh, little rectangular bits, uh, I will add a nice crunchy texture when I add to the stir fry. And for dinner tonight, I'm gonna to have some asparagus add some uh, probably cilantro as well and some bok choy so with regards to these um, lichen right here they're very common in the northwest and the northern interior of uh, the, of bc and it when it's dehydrated it actually kind of looks like this and once you add a lot of water they can get massively large and i have some uh, asparagus and uh, baby bok choy which is just in the stir fry for the pan right now. So I got some rice paper soaked in hot water and I'm just going to make a wrap. So I have some baby bok choy and then I got the uh, rock tripe lichen as well as the uh, sauteed asparagus. And I'm just gonna roll this up into something that kind of looks like this and it'll be bite sized and it should have a nice texture and taste to it. So I have my uh, custom rolls done here. I actually forgot that uh, to take a video, so I already ate about half of them. But so far there's a good texture. Um, I added a little bit of chili, so there's a, a slight hint of heat in the background. So it's uh, day two right now in the morning, and I'm just going to make some uh, breakfast. And I'm wearing a lot of pink right now. And that's because at the uh, high school, uh, there's going to be a uh, pink uh, shirt day. So let's let's make up some uh, breakfast. It's going to mainly be uh, the same thing as yesterday. So I found some uh, nice soap berries, and um, we have some soap berries which mixed with uh, water and sugar, and it kind of makes this like nice foamy consistency. I just added some uh, banana to my oatmeal, and this will be a nice hearty breakfast for the hike later today. So it's day five right now and I'm just carpooling um, and we're gonna go for a walk in the morning and just trying to be a little bit more environmentally conscious about my carbon footprint. Check this out, I'm on uh, tall trees right now. So I'm just like five minutes out of town and it's so crazy to see such a vastly different world here compared to just within the, within the city. So I just finished the uh, three and a half hour hike off tall trees and I'm just at a uh, Vietnamese restaurant and um, 
instead of getting some beef I got some uh, tofu instead and it looks really good so I can't wait to uh, eat it. I'm at the uh, First Nations tournament right now and Prince Rupert held at the uh, Civic Center and there's a pretty big crowd and this this event will be happening over for one entire week. I can't wait to actually try out some of the foods uh, that I could eat for dinner tonight. So I'm at Sukoshi right now. We just came back from the Butsy Rapids uh, nature walk. And yeah, I just have some like seaweed salad here. And uh, I actually have some veggie licious rolls here. And yeah, I've never seen it made like this, but it looks really good. It looks very vibrant. And it's nice that uh, to order this because I probably would have never ordered this type of dish if I wasn't on this challenge. So it, everything looks delicious and I'm, I can't wait to bite in. So I'm at the uh, pavilion right now, just having dinner with some friends and I opted out for the uh, masala and it's with uh, paneer and it actually looks really good. So I can't wait to actually uh, eat this dish. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make some uh, cold skin noodles. So I have some rice paper right here and I'm just going to put two sheets of them and I'm just going to soak it in. Uh, quite warm and hot water right here. It'll let it cook for about 30 seconds and then I'm basically just going to shred it like noodles like that and we'll get a nice consistency of noodles that I'll saute with for dress. So I added some uh, coriander, I have some parsley and I have some dill as well and then I added a little bit of a hoisin Korean style sauce to it and I'll just mix it and blend it together. So I forgot to uh, record, I already started eating, but um, I'm just taking a video right now just showing the final product of the uh, noodles and they, yeah, they taste great with great heat and it's very refreshing. I'm going to grab some uh, bunch carrots and it's already nicely packed that I probably don't even need to uh, take a uh, plastic bag. So I'm just going to leave it in there and it should be fine, I'll just put it in a reusable. All right, so I'm just walking out from uh, Safeway and my groceries are actually just in the uh, pannier right there. And uh, for this entire week, um, I'm gonna be using my bike to uh, travel everywhere. So I'm gonna head to the uh, local bakery right now and it should be great. So I have a spiralizer and I'll be making um, some zucchini pasta for tonight. So I just spiralized uh, two zucchinis and uh, if you can see it actually makes quite a bit and I'll just kind of saute this and this will make some uh, great vegetable noodles. And I have some asparagus right here which I'll just saute and it should add some nice texture and flavor as well. So I have my um, dinner ready for tonight. We have some uh, zinguini that I made which is spiralized. I have the sauteed asparagus as well. I put some cilantro with the um, zucchini and also topped it with pepper. So this should be a nice uh, delicious treat for tonight. And we'll see what we will make uh, for tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed that video with all the uh, highlights in my sustainability challenge. It was very enlightening, but also very reflective. And I think I learned a lot about myself, but as well as different lifestyle changes that I can do to be a little bit more mindful and eco-friendly. So I do have a list of uh, things that I learned from this one week, and it's gonna be posted on my uh, website. So you can just click in the link below to check it out. Anyways, take care and be sustainable.